After dismantling the Connecticut Panthers last week in the ECFL quarterfinals, the Shamrocks return to Kelleher Field to host the Boston Bandits in the semifinals with a spot in the championship game at stake. And after neither side could get on the board in the first, Bobro was able to finally find the end zone in the second. A five-play drive that ends with a strike from Blake Rice to Bobby Goldsby on the RPO. Second consecutive week, these two connect for a score, and this one gives the Shams a 7-0 second quarter lead. The Marlboro defense made the Bandits look awful for most of the night. On this play, the front barrels right through the Boston offensive line, and Jordan Lobby gets to the quarterback first for the sack. The Shamrocks blank the Bandits over the first two quarters. And with six minutes to go in the first half, Rice and the offense look to add to their lead. Rice drops back, tosses it deep downfield, and Martel Hughes goes up and brings it down between two defenders. Heck of a grab by the 5'7 receiver to go up and high point it. That play set up a field goal by Max Pedinoff to help give Marlboro a 10-0 lead at the half. But the third quarter began as well as Boston could have hoped for. Rice fumbled away Marlboro's first drive, and this is how Boston's subsequent possession was capped off. Davis to DeRolis for the 20-yard touchdown to bring Boston within three at 10-7. But just when you thought the tide might be turning, the Shamrock offense put any thoughts of a comeback to bed on the first play of their next drive. Rice hits Graham Asim on the bubble screen, and Asim shows patience letting the blocks develop in front of him. And once he gets past the first wave, he turns on the Jets, and no one on the field has the speed to catch him. 81 yards all the way to the house. That put Marlboro up by 10, and the defense would do the rest. Later in the fourth, Boston's backup quarterback Sanders tries to push the ball downfield, but Lamar Edmonds flies in and picks off the pass. Boston would score no more as Marlboro wins this one 17-7. The Shamrocks advance the ECFL championship game next week versus Southern New England.